hi everyone welcome to our channel so this is part 5 video on asp net core identity series so in this video we are going to do google authentication asp dotnet core identity infrastructure also supported by the google authentication okay first thing is we must register our application, our Azure page application with the Google service. Okay. Okay. Go to console.cloud.google.com slash project selector. A dashboard will appear like this. Okay. At the API and services. So click on create project. And here we have to define the name of the project. You can give any name. I'll give it like razor.net7 and I can leave location default. Click on create. Okay. Project successfully creates, then it will appear in this drop down. Next, on left hand side, click on OAuth consent screen. So here, user type we have to select external and click on create and here we have to provide some app information okay i simply give like razor app and here email address our by default authenticated email address will come okay remaining all optional and bottom there is a developer Developer contact information here also I will give a normal Gmail address. Click on save and continue. Now we are on scopes tab. Now click on add or remove scope. From right hand side, check email profile and open ID scopes and click on update okay next save and continue so here is the main page test users means for the development time okay to check the google authentication so we have to register the email addresses here whatever emails we register here only those emails are eligible to do google authentication with our local application okay so here we have to add all our test email addresses okay so i am going to add one different address that i am going to use it for authentication okay in upcoming steps okay. so this is my test email add it so now i only able to authenticate with my local application only with this email address only because for testing we must add test addresses okay in real time uh, we no need to add okay click on save and continue and here we can click on go to dashboard okay app registration is done Next thing is we have to get the uh, Google secret ID and secret key. For that, click on credentials, click on create credentials, and we have to select OAuth client ID. Okay, here in the drop down, select web application. Okay, here also I will name it like Razor client any name you can give okay and next here authorized redirect uri here we have to configure our local application url okay let's run my application okay let's give this url Click on add URL and add it here. Okay, it is non-HTTP, right? 
let's give http as url for that we need to do small change in obj not obj in properties in the launch settings non http is in, at the top in the profiles list so what i will do cut https and paste it on top of the profiles list okay now if i rerun i will get https url okay okay here is my https url copy that and add it here and there is a default path at the end of the url we have to specify okay so that is like sign in google okay that is the default path here in real time you have to give your domain slash sign in google that is the default path and now click on create okay here is the client id and client secret so make sure to copy them okay so what i will do let's configure in our application okay so open app settings dot development dot json file this file like google auth settings okay client id and client secret okay copy this client id copy this client secret okay we are done with registration with the google now to enable the google authentication with asp.net core identity we need to install a nuget package so search like microsoft google auth nuget we will get microsoft.aspnetcore.authentication.google okay visual studio 2020 users copy from package manager cli copy it from here open terminal open one more terminal and install the package okay to confirm package installed successfully check in cs project file okay here is the google package now we have to register the google service in the program.cs file okay builder dot services dot add authentication okay dot add google okay google options so here we need to configure our client id and client secret so google options dot client id and i have to load it from the settings right so we know how to load from settings so here i need to change the root property and here we have to pass exact property that is client id okay now let's configure the client secret so google options dot client secret okay so copy this line of code and change this property name okay that's it we are done with the google integration let's test our application
so make sure to rerun our application again let's copy my application url and let's open it in incognito incognito tab okay so that we can see all the execution process of google login because here i have already sign in with my google right so two steps may skip because we are already authenticated right so to test full steps uh, please make sure to open it in incognito tab now if you click on register you can see a google button if you click on login also it will show you a google button that is because we just enabled this add google method right so that will automatically enable this button okay so let me click on this google button see it is successfully redirect to google login page so let me create my let me enter my email address see this email must be our test email we added in test email right only those emails only get success for testing okay next let me enter password and it is asking to factor a verification this is google one not our application one zero one double zero three Okay, it is redirecting and it is successfully redirect back to my application and it is showing you have successfully authenticated with Google. Please enter email address. Okay. So please enter the email address for this site and register button. But we haven't logged in because after successful authentication our application is trying to create a user for this email address okay so now let me go to my database okay we have to open two tables one is users another one is asp.net user login okay user login is empty and user my this email have no record Till now, no record. Okay. Now, if I click on register, see registration confirmation is required. Okay. That means email, registration email sent to my email. Okay. So now, if I check the database, see new record is inserted. But there is no password because it is a Google authentication. And if I execute this ASP net user logins, see here also one record is added. And this record is internally mapped with this record ID, user ID. This user ID. So from this table, we can identify uh, from where this user is authenticating. So here you can see the user is authenticating from the Google. Okay. So here e email is not confirmed, right? So if you try to re-login also, it won't log in. Okay, now what, what I can do? I need to go to my email. Okay. Here you can see confirmation email. Okay. Copy this email. Okay, go to incognito tab. Okay, and access the URL. Now it is showing thank you for confirming the email. Okay. So if I check database, the email confirmation must be true now. Okay, let's execute. Now it is exit. Email is confirmed. Now if I try to re authenticate with Google, I will directly redirect back to my application. Okay, let's click on login page and now if I click on Google 
see i am directly authenticated okay so that means we are successfully authenticated with google with the help of asp.net core identity infrastructure okay so next we are going to implement facebook authentication with the help of asp.net core identity thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful information to you if you like the video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and please don't forget to like and share the video soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off